Hello and welcome back to HIP. So, we are running out of family members really quickly. We have a look at our tanistry thing. We have all the tanistry votes go for this guy because he's the only one left. It's not looking great. Not looking great at all. Uh, I'm feeling very bad about the current situation. The Pope does like us more now. I'm just seeing what the other wars were in. We're in a Byzantine war? Interesting. Anyway. Um, but we also, uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, I was doing this thing, but I guess nobody has any opinion on the matter, so everyone's going to oppose it. Uh, yeah, we could get people to vote, but I'm not going to. Fine. Right, um, where was I? Yep, brain's gone. So, whatever. Um, still slowly melting in the, uh, summer sun in, in my flat here, so... It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. I can't tell whether I'm just be it's unlucky, or whether uh, I am just playing badly. Probably a mixture of both. Although, actually, in expansion terms, we're doing pretty well. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Basically, we just gotta keep expanding, and uh, hope that the family member thing kinda fixes itself. We do have some of the fabricating claims, which is alright. Oh no, my daughter can't die. It's not allowed. She has to have heirs for us. Ah, yes. I was going to see if we could uh, divorce our wife. Yes! He loves us. People have become Latin. Thanks in part to my own efforts, the majority of the population in Aquino has finally managed to adopt the customs and language of my native culture. Yes, eventually. Eventually the world will speak Latin. Yes. Ooh, we finished our culture thing. And I also probably got a stewardship, I think. Uh, I want to have five children, and the divorce has been granted. Much prayer and meditation have decided to grant your request to divorce your spouse on the grounds of uh, consanguinity. Okay, she probably dislikes it, although she is still my lover, but not my wife. We now need a new wife, looking for a lustful lady, who is roughly the right age. And does not have another trait giving her negative fertility, like all of them do. Alright, we're looking for a strong lady. I almost typed in the word lady afterwards, just in case it wasn't uh, certain. They all have negative traits. Strong and quick is just... yeah. No. Uh, next one we're looking for is a Midas Touched uh, lady. Let's have a look here. Um, 22 Midas Touch left-handed. No, do it. Oh, we have Calm Voice left-handed 45-year-old. Ah, 45. Lust, ah, uh, Lustful Midas. I'm going to use a different search because that one seems bad. I think there are more options available. I don't really care if they're in a great family, which is probably something that's there. Lustful Midas Touched and what else? What other ones give that sort of stuff strong? There is none that have all three. Okay, let's search those two. It's not a long list, but we have a 26-year-old. She will do. Range of marriage. Yes, we lose some prestige, but we're marrying her not for her prestigious uh, family, but for her lustful nature. We'll see how that goes. We're now known as the Chaste. Oh, come on. Oh, we are Chase as well, which isn't great, which is minus 15 fertility. Yeah. That's, uh, we need that to be counteracted by our, um, wife. End of an empire. Whether by external pressures or internal corruption, the empire of Kankali has been reduced to a remnant of its former glory. No longer seen as a true empire by others, nor able to theme itself as such without risking blasphemy, it succumbed to its weakness and, for and is forfeit. Gurjan Baruk, the former emperor, has surrendered his imperial crown and accepted lesser title, Khan of Karusi. Oh. Good riddance. Yeah. Doesn't seem great. Anyway. Young, uh, Yusfronzia has finished her education. She's a skilled tactician and pregnant. Fantastic. You want to become stubborn or proud? Proud. She became stubborn. Okay. My wife is pregnant already. That's the Midas Touch Lustful for you. Combined with the family focus. 
And I suspect, I think the five children focus probably also has a fertility bonus associated if it's the same as some of the ones in the first game. We'll see. Not the first game. I said it's like this is a sequel. In the, um, I don't have have five children as that ambition. Anyway, uh, in as in the vanilla game, what I meant to say. Anyway, looks like we have won the Sardinian revolt. Uh, yep, because we have high diplomacy, we can just ignore some of these events now, which is very nice. Uh, oh, why do I have my men raised? Yeah, oops. King Marino has granted his loyal supporters tax privileges, privileges which come at the expense of his opponents as well, like myself, who elected not to offer him full support when we had the chance. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. That's a reason to support. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Well, we'll take the lesser tax for just now. Your horse level struck you as being a dependable sort, a quality you feel is sorely lacking in your counsellors. Time to shake things up a bit. You appoint him as a new Chancellor. Letter Hoof, I appoint thee as Chancellor of the Realm. Ah, oh, yeah. I forgot. We're insane. We married Letter Hoof? There is a way to get Letter Hoof to marry. I've forgotten how you do it. Anyway, we have Glitter Hoof now. We could order Glitter Hoof to come become a monk. Imbecile, attractive, strong, stubborn. Nice. And a horse. Can't forget that one. Is also a horse. Um, I could just keep Glitter Hoof around. I think I want to order Glitter Hoof to take the vows. Become monk Glitter Hoof. Glitter Hoof. Uh, and then. Just gonna set them a special interest and then put our actual chancellor in charge. Oh wait, I changed my mind. What I actually meant is I'm gonna fire you. But I also need to find somebody better. So um, yeah, let's load an empty filter. I'm no longer searching for lustful ladies. Uh, that doesn't clear that filter weirdly. Okay. Um, and I suppose I don't need to do that. I could just press the reset button, but whatever. Fine. Uh, I want to search for somebody who will join my court with high diplomacy, and they have to be male. Okay, invite you to court. Invite you to court. And invite you to court. Right. Uh, we have a son! We have a grandson named Angelo. Fantastic. Have a struggle education, grandson. Right, we got a couple people joining our court. Nice. Nice. My trusty and loyal steed Glitterhoof is likely to be the target of all manner of malicious attacks by my enemies to destabilize my rule. I just noticed you can see the monk clothing there. Uh, I could have my smiths forge him a set of armor to aid in protecting my most precious companion. Only the finest armor can protect my precious Glitterhoof. Yes. The ornate steel armor now. Great. Um, although we can't see it. Wait, where is this tre? Uh, where is treasury on this? Oh, it's, it's a new tab. All right. So yeah, ornate steed armor. Nice. We have a daughter named Penelope. Okay, Penelope. Why don't you have a rift education? Uh, I suppose I should get Glitterhoof to do something. Why don't you try fabricating claims, Glitterhoof and Sienna? See how you do. Uh, peddlers selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices, and luxuries such as glass and jewels fill the town square with their wares and shouts. Because we're greedy, we can also gain cynical. Uh, no, I'm gonna gain, I'm gonna get the general opinion boost. Actually, that's fine. Right. Well, um, anything else we need to do? No, I'm gonna choose that option. Obviously. Ooh, you look independent. Do I? I don't have a reason to declare war, but you look independent. Definitely nice. Gooses are expiring, which is okay. Uh, I'm following love with my wife. That's just great. Range marriage. Uh, sure, yeah, that one looks fine. That one's been there in the works for a while. Designate a regent. That's going to be that guy. 
It's hard being a good Catholic these days, but my friend really shocked me when I realized we did not share the same religion. My dear friend is a heretic. What religion is he? He's Orthodox. Do I want to be Orthodox? Now let's learn more about being Orthodox. I don't really want to be Orthodox, but we'll learn more about it. Okay. Alright. Um, the Pope likes me more now. Good, good. Always like to see the Pope likes me. Yeah, sure, I'll attend Otgot. Um, Otgot's is uh, whatever it is. Coronation, although he is also uh, an ugly kinslayer. And he's an imperial courtier. Interesting. Yeah, anyway. Crusade for Leon. His Holiness, Pope Marinus III, has been swayed by cries uh, for help from the Christian population in the Amasad Sultanate. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil Sultan Amiyas of the Amiyasad Sultanate in order to secure against the Amiyasad Sultanate from the hands of the Mahib, uh, Mohammedan uh, infidels. Just vault. I think we might join in. Where's the Leon's over here, right? Uh, yeah. Definitely, yeah, we'll head over there. I'm, I'm up for your war, Pope. Let me in. Want to join the crusade? Uh, we're also going to raise up all of our men. And merge up over here. The Pope says yes. Nice. Don't know why I said it like it's one of those, uh... Oh, we have a grandson. Nice. Don't know why I said it was like one of those, you know, wheels where it says the cow goes moo, the Pope says yes. But whatever. Pope crowns the Emperor. Nice. Good to see. Right, um... How do I get over there? Do I have boats? How many boats do I have if I have boats? I have... 14. That means I can carry 1,400 troops. We're walking to Leon. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we'll also beat up that army on the way past, I guess. It's fine. We had more feasty events. Everyone likes the Emperor. That's what we're getting into here. Walk our way over through, through uh, France as well. When we get there. Okay, is this really the quickest route? I guess so. Oh no! Crusade for Leon has resulted in Leon converting to Catholic. Oh. Time to leave the war! Yeah! This is a peasant ruler who has come up here. Interesting. They overthrew the people who weren't Catholic and now the crusade is over! Yay, we won. Let's head back home, I guess. Okay. Well, whatever. It's a weird episode. Weird episode. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to fight in this tournament. Definitely. Uh, this guy would like me to join his faction. Nope. Not doing that. If we get back in our lands, we can disband the troops and head back down. Grand tournament begins. I'll prepare for battle. Uh, I've gained Brave. Nice. That's a good trait. Straight up good. No problems with that. Uh, we keep improving relations with Lords. Uh, it's been a great deal to talk about uh, the tourney of uh, Bernice's beauty. And she's the beauty of Sardinia. Alright. That's fine. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. Um, Enrico still fought well enough to earn him his way to third. Okay. Wait. We gained 50 gold? Why? I think he... Oh, it's because he's in our... Because he's eventually part of our land, so we gain 50 gold, I think? No, he gains 50 gold. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Um, um, Berdato won second, and Baron Nicole won third. And the tourney is at an end. Okay, whatever. Proof of relations with the Pope again. Uh, let's head back over this way. Pope Marinus has been excommunicated, has excommunicated King Marino of uh, Sardinia because he wanted to. Oh, okay. So our liege is excommunicated? Hmm. 
So, what would that do? If we win the war, the air communication is lifted? Huh? Oh, right, and he repents his sins and he abdicates to Marino, who's an heir. Yeah, I don't care about that. Do we have a faction to put ourselves in charge of Sardinia, out of curiosity? Hmm, I, I could fire myself from the council, I suppose. Yeah, I'm interested. Let's fire myself from the council. Uh, resign. Yeah. Just want to have a look at the factions. We could start. Uh, nope. We cannot put ourselves in charge in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'd like to be back on your council. Let me back on. Nope. Nothing being said there. Can't do that. He'll probably offer in a second. Yeah, I want to be your chancellor again. Thank you. Oh, we got a nice new helmet. Recently, if you noticed a charming woman at your court. You have never heard her name before, but her refined manners and etiquette suggest she has a fine upbringing. She is an excellent conversationalist, and everyone adores her. Maybe you can make use of her talent. Well, no, I don't want to make her my chancellor. Thank you very much. Although she is better than Glitterhoof. That is true. She is slightly better than Brother Glitterhoof. The horse. Um, yeah, Lady Penelope, can I interest you in a seat with a seat in my council? So now we have a proper chancellor once again. And we'll stop horsing around and we can get a flame on Sienna. Right. Uh, what was that one about us? Uh, we received the ornate steed. Oh, I guess that means that our um, little hoof just dies if that happens. All right, if, I'm, if I have another horse, I can uh, equip the steed armor. Okay, that's fine. Or if I become a horse, I can equip the steed armor. Very important. Uh, daughter needs an education. Let's give her that one. Fine. Hope loves me. Yeah, request council support? Nah. How much does the Pope like me? A hundred? Can I get some money from you? No. You're free investiture. But actually, he's still kind of thinking maybe. I don't think I can change free investiture. No. Are we still uh, deciding over that one here? We are. Well, she's going to vote yes. This. Let's assume. So, um, how much are favors? Forty. Yeah, okay. We, we can maybe get some favors. Buy a favor. Uh, how much is a favor from you? 90. Okay. Nice. So we got two people in here. Uh, oh, so I need to also call in the council support. Call in the council support. That now means it's three versus at least three. So let's start the vote. Everyone voted for it. Yeah, good. She's returning a favor to me. Oh, I could have called in her support without having to spend more money. Oh, well then, whatever. I pushed that up. What did that actually do? That means they can now be spy masters. Okay. Not a huge issue for us, but let's see if there's anybody who's better. Uh, there's people who are equal, but not better right now. Nice. Um, Still waiting for that claim. It might happen at some point. It might happen at some point. We'll see. Getting our war chest ready is definitely a good thing to do. There's some disease that's almost in our lands, but not quite, so we can ignore it. Yeah, I think hands off the keyboard, just uh, chill out. Wait for our claim. Told you. We got the claim on the duchy. Probably not the actual, actually the one case where we don't want the claim on the duchy, but whatever, we'll press it. Declare war, claim Sienna. Oh, I should also move her to the next province, wherever I'm going to attack next. Might be that one. Yeah. Let's uh, fabricate in there. Right. Raise up our... Uh, don't raise up our men. Declare the war, then raise up our men. Correct order. Claim Sienna. Which actually does get us another province, so maybe that is good. Or at least it says it's getting us another province. Is it actually? Um... She only has the Duchy of Siena, so... No. No, it's not. Okay. Anyway. Wait. What province is this, then? Ah, I don't know why that's flashing. So that's not right. Oh, unless the, uh, she hold, she might hold something underneath that province, which is definitely possible. Merge up, disband. Let's get everyone together. 
Nice. Um, this is a random courtier. I'm doing nothing for him. Continue merging up. Right. Uh, request council support. Don't care. Vassal levies are apparently raised too long, despite them only just being raised this very second. That seems fine. Back in. Yep, that's the end of that army. Nice and simple. One of my commandos has improved a lot. My spy master, apparently. You shouldn't be a commander, but that's okay. Head to Siena and siege it down. Yeah, be okay. Go to siege it normally. Just like they're sieging ours normally. Uh, my dear Duke, remind you of your obligations. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. That's basically saying stay out of factions. Alright. Imprison those three. Uh, get some money for them. Yeah, nice. Get some money for that one as well. Nice. And we're about to get this one. Definitely want the feudal vassal opinion to go up. Uh, I'm going to salt this down. 100% war score. We can now offer peace without losing uh, any land. Nice. We've taken the Duchy of Siena. Which I guess does include land in here. Where's the... It must be the barony she holds. Oh no, that's the Jure, the Duchy of Siena. Is that land? No. It's just that... Wait. Does that mean we have claims? No. No. Why is it extending out there? This isn't the Duchy of Siena. Just wrong. Okay, well, I suppose that's an answer. Unless one of her vassals has land in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Sprunga, Staccato, Siena, Montalon. Yeah, it's this one. That province that we control. Okay. Uh, our vassals aren't going to like that we have three provinces, are they? Or three duchies. They don't care. Oh, okay then. That's fine. I guess we can just collect duchies then. Absolutely fine. That's just a little bit further expanded. Yeah. I uh, need a new commander. Let's put in... Gusto. I'm going to disband... Wait. I'm going to wait a second and disband those troops. That way we don't lose anybody. And then try over here. Come over here. Right. Uh, we don't have any reason to declare, do we? No, apart from unjust conquest, we don't. That's okay. It's okay. Head back. Uh, just stay kind of chilled. We should probably upgrade, uh, not upgrade, but reinforce some of our land back here. Wherever we have uh, our levies that are depleted. Where is it? So we're missing about a thousand troops. I just don't know where they are. Oh, it's probably over here, right? Yeah, that one we're missing 500 from. Yeah, it's probably this one. Let's uh, put our marshal and get him to improve, or get him to get some more men there. It's all right. What are we? We got a negative there, and no, it's only tax reduction, so that's okay. All right. Alliance between us and Arpad, Mister Whatever, went away because he's dead. Makes sense. And I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.